everybody, it's Kristen, and I have another installment of empties for you guys today. Um, these are the things that I have used up in January. Um, so yeah, I, I don't need much more of an introduction than that, now do I? Oh, I'm wearing my glasses today because, um, not that you care, but I'm <laughs> having issues with my contacts for some reason. So, um, sorry, bear with the glasses. I don't like my glasses. Well, I don't like glasses, period. These ones are my new ones, and they're okay, but anyway. This is about empty, so here we go. Um, the first thing that I have is just um, the warm vanilla sugar um, foaming antibacterial soap. We, this is the one, the flavor currently that I've been liking and using. I have a new one now in there in, in our master bathroom. The reason that I like these foaming versus the the ones with the little beads in it is that I feel like you can, I mean, I literally got everything out of that. There's just a teeny tiny part in it. I feel like it's not as wasteful because you can only get so much out of the other ones and they get goopy and they, ugh. That was a long explanation. I absolutely would repurchase this again. Okay, um, I used up one of my, I have lots of these on backup, which I'm so very thankful. Thank you, Brigitte and Cornelia. I used up a body butter. I mean, I can't tell you how, my, I've tried other body butters. This is the only one that I like. It's by El Verde. You can only get it Germany, Austria, I believe. Um, I really, really enjoy this body butter. It's perfect in the dead of winter here in Wisconsin where it's so dry. I don't know how many of these I have in here, but <laughs> um, Neutrogena wipes. These are my favorite makeup removers. This is my first sip. I always, I usually take off my eye makeup first with something else, and then I take off my face makeup, and then I wash and all that jazz. Um, this does not belong in there. <laughs> um, another can of my Holy Grail hairspray. There's probably one of these in every month. I, I'm not trying anything else at this point unless something comes in a box that we, like the Allure Beauty Box I usually get. Um, but this just works, works well. doesn't smell horrid. I like it. I love it, as a matter of fact. Um, let's see. I'm sure I have it. Yeah. I used these. I think, actually, I think I got this for Christmas last year, but one of the things, and um, let's see, today is Saturday, so you will have already seen my Topic Tuesday um, on what I'm using up and stuff for 2013, so these I had in there I wanted to use up. I really did like this scent, and I would absolutely repurchase it again um, if I was using Bath, using Bath & Body Works stuff, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using Philosophy going forward. Who knows? I change my mind on that daily. Um, this is the Garnier Fructi Style Curl Construct Mousse Weightless Curl and Hold Extra Strong. I really liked this. Um, right now I'm trying out one from Tresemme that I also like, but this was really nice. It didn't make my hair crunchy, and it held some of my curl, which is, I like to call it, half-hearted curl. Because <laughs> that's what I have. Um, I used up a Joyco Thickening Conditioner. This is my... One of the two, I, this one is a, a staple always, the Joyco Thickening, either conditioner or um, shampoo. But I also have one that I flip off in, in between, but this is a staple. Yes, I would repurchase again. It was not very clear, was it? I actually bought, I have another one of these that I'm refilling because I bought the liters. Anyway, um, this is amazing. You're going to see this in my favorites, too, so I won't talk too much about it. I just bought a bigger one, although I think I bought the wrong one now that I look at this. <clears throat> Bummer. But this is the Gold Bond Ultimate Intensive Healing Hand Cream. And there's several, so I'm going to have to look today when I go to Walmart to see if I can find this. Because um, I think I bought the wrong one. At any rate, love this stuff. This is... Uh, my hands are really bad. You guys can probably see it sometimes when I hold things up. My hands are really, really bad in the winter, and this I used every night. Um, and I am trying to use up some hand creams as well and foot stuff and that kind of thing because I have plenty. But I just needed to find something that was going to work and work well for me for these few months. And the ones that work but aren't as nice, I'm using up. See? I'm rambling. Um, I finished up my um, Fix and Perfect from Rimmel. I really like this primer. It's a great drugstore primer. Um, I've talked about this a bunch of times, but I used up the last of that. Um, this is something that I use on my feet. This is called the True Blue 
glycolic acid cracked heel treatment. It's also called heel of approval. This is the bigger container of it. I use this all over my feet, not just on my heels. I really, really like this. If you get really dry feet, this is something um, you might want to just give a try. So I put this on, socks on overnight, and then my, my feet feel much better the next morning. Use up another Target Up and Up. I used to really like these, and this last these last ones that I have aren't all that, so I'm not sure. I'm I do need I, after I use up the ones that I have, I'm going to try the Walmart Swisper Swisser. What you know what I mean? Um, people have told me that in the other videos that they really like those. So I'm going to try that next. Um, let me just grab all of these out, and I'll do them all at one time. One of my things that you will have seen by this point is using up like any kind of skincare, makeup removal, that kind of thing before I buy any other stuff that isn't on like an automatic delivery. So I used up all of these. This is the Sephora Makeup Eye Remover. I was using all of these before I switched to my the Bioderma bottle that I had. Um, this was nice but really oily. But it, I mean it is a waterproof eye makeup remover but I didn't, I didn't love it. I wouldn't purchase it. Um, I also used up a Chanel, no a Dior instant eye makeup remover. This made my eyelids go crazy. So if you have sensitive eyelids, I would not use this at all. It says that it has with pure lily ass extract and it says sensitive eyes, not oily. I did find it to be not oily, even though it was one you had to shake up. It didn't seem to, you know, do crazy things, but, um, absolutely hands down affected my eyelids. Not happy about that at all. And then I had two of these Chanel um, Solution, whatever, eye makeup remover. <laughs> you know, it says in French, I had two of these other ones. Uses up nice. I wouldn't spend the money on what I'm sure it, um, the full size costs. You guys just saw that I had one of these in a haul. This is the, I used up the Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Repair Cream. The extra is really bomb, really thick, bomb, really bomb, like very thick. And I use this at night underneath, um, obviously underneath my eyes. I use this at night during the winter. If I continue this into the summer, then I kind of get that, what is that called? Milia, when you get kind of little white bumps because it's too much. But during the winter, I absolutely had to go back to this. And I could tell the minute the weather changed that my eyelids or my under eyes weren't as uh, moisturized. And so I went right back to that. Okay, I just thought I would throw this in here. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Hair Mask. It was a sample. I liked this, but I'm here to tell you I like my 3 Minute Miracle better than that. Better than this. Um, and this is way more expensive, so just an FYI. Um, I have three of these. I have two in this rose and one in the regular, you know, that I got in the birthday kit. And then I, I don't even know how I got this one. But I used this all up. Nothing left of that. I do really like this. Um, I use it at night. I always have one by my bedside and that's the last thing I do. But I truly think the EOS is just as good as far as what I want it to do. Moisturize my lips overnight so that they're nice in the morning. So this is nice and it has a nice color to it. But and it has an SPF of 15. But for the cost that this is, holy moly. Free? Yes. <laughs> Repurchase? Not so much. Um, I, have, I finished up a NARS... Um, Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This was nice. It didn't seem to do crazy things to my eyelids, so that's always a plus. Um, I have tons of primers, so, you know, I, I would repurchase it, but I don't think it's like something I have to have this and only this. Okay, I have a bunch of mascaras. I really should probably do a video just on mascaras, but we're just going to have a little conversation right here on this video. Um... Some of these are not necessarily ones that I finished, but ones that I would not use again. Um, this is the Bold Curves Max Rimmel. Looks like this. And the brush is all wonky. It looks like this. This transferred on me. It's a really wet formula. Transferred, like, and whenever I talk about transferring, if I say it from now on out, um, at the end of it, I mean transfer up top. Things don't transfer underneath on me, but they absolutely transfer up top for some reason. I don't know why. But, um, so I would not repurchase this at all. It gave decent, um, it didn't curve my lashes. It gave decent volume, but I mean, whoo, it transferred in a hot minute. So, um, this is the Maybelline one by one. This is the one that stunk, I think. Yeah. Whoo, baby. 
yeah, so this I did not enjoy at all. Um, it, it's, you know, it's called Volume Express. There's no getting any volume out of this mascara. Um, it separated and um, it didn't even add length. I didn't like this at all. <laughs> so there you have that. Um, this is the Rimmel one that kind of looks like the MAC Hot and Naughty. So this pulls out here and this pulls out here. Um, it's this really clumpy, even the even the length one didn't separate it out. Um, transferred on me and also um, flaked throughout the day. All bad. Um, Prestige my, my Blackest Lashes. I think I talked about this one before. This transferred on me as well. I know a lot of people really like this mascara. This is a super wet formula. I mean, I've had this for a long time and I used it for quite a while. I even did the whole leave it open for 15 minutes and try this. I know people love this. I did not. And that, that's kind of my thing. If I'm trying a mascara and I don't love it, um, especially if it was drugstore, I will try it, see if I can get it to work for a while, and then I'm done with it. I don't, I'm not going to force myself to use mascaras that I don't love, especially when I have as many kind of lined up <laughs> as I do. Um, this is the Ulta v Voluptuous Volume. I got this in some kit from them. Uh, this is what the wand looks like. Um, this did nothing for my lashes at all and disappeared in a matter of hours. It looked like I hadn't put any mascara on. There might have been a little bit of color because my lashes are pretty blonde. But um, nothing. And this one, this is, a, this is really tricky. I use this for quite a long time. This is their Armani Eyes to Kill. Um, this one transferred on me in a major way as well, but because it was so expensive, I would com I would combine this with the Makeup Forever um, lat primer, which is like fibers and primer, and I loved the combination of those together. I very much, and I, I used this for quite a while before Drugstore December. Um, it has dried out now and is um, will flake. Once it's dried out, it tends to flake, but this is a very nice mascara, and if you don't have transferring issues and you want to spend $30 on a mascara, the packaging is very nice. It's nice and kind of has some weight to it, which I like. Um, the mascara itself is good. It just, like I said, for me, transferred, but it definitely gave nice volume, nice length. I really liked how my lashes looked, especially once I added the Makeup Forever Lash Primer. It was a really great combination, so there is that. That is my empties for the month. I felt like I had more than that, but... Not that I needed to have more. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it below. Um, I will put below what I'm wearing on my face today. It's not very much. I just have the Maybelline Color Tattoo Inked in Pink on my lids, and I used um, Max Malt in the crease just to kind of, you know, transition up a little, give a little definition. And then I have Max Brulee on top. Um, I threw a little wedge underneath just to kind of give my lash line a, a little definition. Some black track fluid line really close to the lash line. You can't really see most of that, I'm sure, behind my stupid glasses. Um, and I used Orgasm from NARS on my cheeks and MAC Cream Cup. So, that's what I have to share with you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!